Hello, my name's Paul and thank you very much for joining me today. Today behind me, I'm really pleased to have the Ford Ranger Raptor. I've got it in this lovely red color. Just want to take you on a quick walk around, show you some of the features and the benefits that this absolutely fantastic vehicle has got to offer to you and your business. So, let's have a, have a look around. Okay, so this is the Ford Ranger Raptor. Now, first of all, it's a new vehicle, so you have got full manufacturer's warranty from the first registration date. Aside from that, you've also got one year's breakdown cover that's covered by Ford as well, and that will start on the first registration date of the vehicle as well. Now, we've already applied a triple layer Gardex treatment to this vehicle, and that gives you some protection against negative effects of UV from sunlight acidity and rainwater, anything at all that's going to cause premature aging, dimming or deterioration to that lovely finish. Now since this is the Raptor, you've got absolutely loads and loads of features and benefits with this vehicle. Starting off just looking underneath the front of the bumper there, you've got twin towing eyes under that front bumper. Parking sensors on the front and the rear of the vehicle. You've got those lovely fog lights there, so if you are driving in diminished visibility conditions, it's gonna make it a lot safer for you. You've also got those lovely LED daytime running lights. You've got the performance LED super bright headlights as well. You've also got that lovely new design of Ford grille on the front of the vehicle. Now just in the center there between the O and the R, You've got a camera on the front of the vehicle. You do have a full 360 degree camera system. So I'll point out those cameras as we are moving our way around the vehicle. You've got those lovely large black 17 inch alloy wheels as well with this vehicle. With those really nice, lovely, large meaty tires on there as well. You've got those lovely Raptor side bars as well running along both sides of the vehicle. Now while we're on this side, just going to go back over there to the mirror. So you've got the camera just underneath the mirror there on the driver's side. You've also got one over on the near side of the vehicle as well. On the back of the vehicle, so you've got another two more towing eyes on the back. You've got the tow bar as well included with this vehicle with the 13 pin power point there as well. So lots of extra functionality for you if you do need to tow. Now if you do need to tow anything, you do have an additional towing capacity of 2.1 tons uh, extra that you can tow with this vehicle as well. Parking sensor just there on the rear bumper and around the corners on that rear bumper as well. Rear camera is just there underneath the Ford badge. If we just drop the tail down, let's just get that unlocked again and bring that down. So in the back storage area of the vehicle now, loads and loads of room to store things in here. You've got towing eyes as well in the back. Sorry, you've got harnessing points in the back as well. So if you need anything tied down, it's very, very easy to do so. You've also got a 12 volt power point just there, and you've also got a 230 volt supply in the back as well. So loads and loads going on there for you. In terms of storage dimensions, you've got 140 centimeters from the bulkhead there to the back, and then 120 centimeters going across the width at the narrowest point there. So loads and loads of room for storage in the back of this vehicle. Just lifting that back up and into place now. You've got those lovely Raptor decals as well. Diesel filler is just there above the near side rear wheel. You've got the near side camera just there underneath the near side wing mirror. So loads and loads on the outside there. Let's jump inside and have a look inside. Okay, so moving into the back of the vehicle. First of all, as you can see there, you've got the privacy glass on the back of the vehicle. In the door spaces, you've got some storage in there. You've got that lovely uh, leather trim on the door inserts. You've got the electronically controlled windows as well. And the handle is just hidden away as well behind there. It gives a very nice finish and overall look to those doors. Looking at your seats in the back, 
Semi-leather finish, absolutely pristine, lovely and comfortable, really, really fantastic quality on the finishing throughout. The headrests are all adjustable for added convenience for everyone in the back as well as in the front. We've also got a pull-down armrest in the center there, along with the cup holders there for added convenience in the back. You've also got Isofix mounting points, so if you do have a young one in the back, you've got a nice industry recognized safety standard there for them. In the back of the vehicle, you've also got your fan blowers there, so the climate control can assist the rear of the vehicle. You've got two charging ports, you've got a USB-A and a USB-C charging port just there as well. You've also got a 230 volt, 400 watt AC power supply there as well. Just on the front of the seats in the center, you've got some storage compartments just there as well. Now, on the floor in the back, you've got a little pack just there with a couple of covers. Those little covers in there are optional. You can have those fixed into place there over those towing eyes if you do so wish. They are all sealed, so I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to leave them in there for you. So loads and loads in the back there. Let's jump into the front now. So on the door frame itself, you've got a lovely Ford Performance uh, plate there. Lots of storage in the driver's doors as well. Same door handle mechanism, nicely hidden away there. All of the windows can be controlled by the driver's panel as well in the driver's door, as you can see there. You've got electronically controlled uh, mirrors with the power fold feature. Electronic central locking throughout the vehicle. Semi-leather finishing on the seats that follows throughout the front as well with the Raptor insignia just on those as well. Looking at the adjustments for the driver's seat, as you can see, fully electric there, so added convenience. You've also got automatic headlights included. I'm just gonna point out before we step up and into the vehicle. So inside the vehicle, in the center, you've got a couple of cup holders there for added convenience. I'm just gonna pop the key in there for now. Nice leather armrest there. Storage inside there as well with a 12 volt charging point. In front of that, you've got the controls for whether you want two wheel or four wheel drive. You've got some driving convenience. You've got the uh, parking assist there, traction control, automatic stop start. You've got an electronic parking brake as well. Up in front of there, you've got the gear stick. So as you can see there, nicely designed, uh, very small, but very, very nicely finished off automatic gear stick for you with a manual mode as well. In front of there, you've got some storage. You've got a USB-A and a USB-C charging point there as well. And this little bit just to the side of there is a wireless charger. So if your mobile device does support wireless charging, you can make full use of that as well. Just looking in front now, you've got the glove box down the bottom in front of your passenger there, some storage in the center, and then you've got another secure storage point just there as well. Moving over to the climate controls, you've got aircon included with this vehicle, as you can see there. Loads and loads of other features in the aircon as well, but that will come up on the digital display. So we'll show you that once the vehicle is going. This vehicle does have keyless ignition, so I've left the key in the center and I'm just gonna put my foot on the brake. And as you see, the vehicle starts up on the button. Now, moving back to the center screen there, you've got this lovely new tablet style system in the middle. Absolutely packed with options. So you've got DAB radio included, as you can see there. Just coming out to the home page. So, there we go. So in there, you can see some of the features you've got here already. You've got your radio options, as we've said, DAB included amongst your AM and FM. Once you've got a mobile phone connected, you can also stream audio as well as using it for hands-free calling. As well as that, if you do wish to use any extra mobile uh, options, 
You've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support as well, which will mirror your mobile device onto this screen. So that's going to give you lots and lots of extra functionality in there. As well as that, you've got the onboard owner's manual that's included built into the system there. You can download games as well and extras there, so if you've got a need to pass some time, that could be very useful for you. And as you can see, you've also got the navigation option as well. So you do have sat-nav built into this device also. Now moving down to the bottom there, and as you can see, you've got climate controls on the digital screen as well. Heated front seats, so it's three-stage heating system on the seats there. Everything is all done digitally, as you can see. Aircon that you can switch on from this system as well. You've also got the heated steering wheel option as well there. Now if we come back to the main system, just have a quick look around here. Again, lots and lots of options for your settings for your sat nav. Now I'm just going to come into the vehicle options using the picture of the vehicle at the top. So as I said, you've got the 360 degree camera system with this vehicle. So up on the top there, you've got what's directly in front using the front camera. Below you've got the uh, surround camera there. So it's using all of the vehicle's cameras around uh, and projecting what is around the vehicle. If we pop the vehicle into reverse, you're gonna see the reversing camera pop up on the top. And that's gonna have the line guidance there to show us exactly where we're gonna go depending on the steering wheel. You can adjust as well what you want on display camera wise. So we're gonna to move to just the sensors there. Sensors and the view from behind and then the tow bar downwards view there. Let's go back to the camera view. Sensors are always on unless you turn them off. Let's pop the vehicle back into park now. Now there is a manual mode as well. So I'm just gonna put the vehicle into drive, keep my foot on the brake for now, and then we can pop it into manual just by pushing that little manual button there on the side of the gear stick. Now up here we've got the paddles, plus and minus, and we can go up and down the gears using those, as you can see. Let's pop the vehicle back into automatic and into park. So looking at your steering wheel, loads and loads of options as you can see. Now behind on the wiper stalk, nice quick one there, you've got automatic wipers included as well. Volume controls and voice controls on the left underneath the cruise control options and the assisted lane guidance as well. So that will help to pull you back into line if you do start veering across lanes. Very, very useful uh, for extra safety there. Across to the other side, you've got your track controls there. You've got options there to control what you have up on the dash. So lots and lots of options. You can set that exactly how you want that with any information that you want shown. Let's come back out of there now. So. As you see loads and loads of different functions on there that you can choose from now on the right side of your steering wheel controls as well lots and lots of different options for the actual drive itself so you've got some different steering modes there on the controls on the steering wheel underneath that you've got the suspension the damper options there underneath that one you've got your different exhaust options as well So loads and loads going on there for you. I'm sure you'd agree, absolutely fantastic vehicle. Packed with features, packed with bonuses. Lots and lots of safety features there. You've got lots of auxiliary points up on the top there as well. And you've also got the SOS call button just in case of an emergency. Fantastically styled and finished off as well. 
Okay. So that is the Ford Ranger Raptor, an absolutely fantastic vehicle. I'm sure you would agree. Fantastically finished, fantastic design, loads and loads of extras and benefits and features there for you. So if there's anything at all we can do to assist with the purchase or jumping onto one of our fantastic finance deals, please feel free to let me know. It would be a pleasure to look after you however we possibly can. Aside from that, if you can hit that five-star review button for me, that would be greatly appreciated on my part. Once again, thank you very much for your time today. Have a lovely day ahead. We'll look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. Bye now.